Yao Yao is the youngest of Streetward Rambler's disciples. Li Yu is Adepti, or a strange group. You'll never see most of them setting foot anywhere near the city, and yet the instant they find a human whom they take a liking to, they'll come flocking in, teaching Adeptus arts one day, and lavishing them with gifts the next. One of these favored few is Yao Yao, a young and enthusiastic disciple who is thriving under their care. <laughs> I'll take good care of everyone. Yao Yao's young age posed no obstacle to her making contact with the Adepti. In fact, they were thoroughly won over by the young child's inquisitive nature. One Adeptus in particular was especially delighted when she saw how Yao Yao used an Adeptus contraption, Yuegui, in conjunction with the power of her dendrovision. Even though the sound of bells follows Yao Yao wherever she goes, the wildlife is never disturbed by her presence. When Yao Yao is in the party, your characters will not startle crystal flies, lizards, and certain other animals when approaching them. Yao Yao's normal attack can combo up to four strikes with her polearm, dealing physical damage. Using her charged attack, Yao Yao consumes a certain amount of stamina to lunge forward, dealing physical damage to enemies along the way. Tapping her elemental skill summons the Adeptus contraption Yuegui Throwing Mode to assist Yao Yao in combat. Hold the skill to enter aiming mode and control Yao Yao's throwing direction. Yuegui Throwing Mode throws out white jade radishes that will explode upon hitting characters or enemies dealing dendro damage to enemies within a certain AoE, and healing characters within that same AoE based on Yao Yao's max HP. If a radish does not hit either an enemy or a character, it will remain where it landed and explode on contact with a character or enemy, or after its duration expires. Yuegui Throwing Mode will select the target for the White Jade Radish depending on the surrounding combat situation. If nearby characters have relatively high HP, it will target an enemy. If there are any nearby characters whose HP has dropped below a certain percentage, it will target the character with the lowest HP percentage. And if no enemies are nearby, it will target a character even if their HP is relatively high. A maximum of two instances of Yuegui throwing mode can exist at any one time. After unlocking the talent In Other Shoes, when a White Jade Radish explodes, active characters within its AoE will regain HP at set intervals based on Yao Yao's max HP. This effect lasts for a limited duration. Go get him, you Per the instructions of a certain Adeptus, Yao Yao casts her elemental burst in emergencies to unleash Yuegui's full potential dealing dendro damage to nearby enemies and entering the Adeptal Legacy state. In this state, the White Jade Radish's healing and damage effects are modified to their Elemental Burst variants. Exploding Radishes now heal all nearby party members, and the dendro damage that they deal is treated as Elemental Burst damage. Yao Yao's movement speed and dendro resistance are increased while in the Adeptal Legacy state. Also, Yao Yao will summon Yuegui Jumping Mode at intervals until the maximum of three instances has been reached. Jumping Mode Yuegui behaves in the same way as the Throwing Mode Yuegui produced by Yao Yao's elemental skill. The Adeptal Legacy state will end when Yao Yao leaves the field and all instances of Yuegui Jumping Mode will be cleared when the state ends. In the eyes of a child, stars shining in the night may seem like little white fruits scattered across the sky. After unlocking the talent Star Scatter, when Yao Yao is running, sprinting, or jumping in the Adeptal Legacy state, she will constantly throw White Jade Radishes at nearby enemies. Only one White Jade Radish can be produced in this way within a set duration. Radishes may not be a miracle cure, but they are always a healthy option. Well, I'm no expert, but Yao Yao will assure you that this is the case. In battle, Yuegui is Yao Yao's trusty helper, providing flexible support to the team depending on the situation. Yao Yao's elemental skill summons Yuegui Throwing Mode to heal her teammates or assist them on the offensive as necessary. When energy is full, Yao Yao unleashes Yuegui's full potential, dealing dendro damage to enemies and entering the Adeptal Legacy state. 
In this state, Yao Yao summons Yue Gui jumping mode, generating more white jade radishes to help get her teammates out of a tight spot. I am a self-confessed pessimist and refuse to believe that all children have hearts of gold. But Yao Yao certainly turned out well. Pure, innocent, and compassionate, she never fails to extend a helping hand to anyone in need. Fortunately for her, helping those around her is well within her abilities. She hasn't experienced many setbacks in her life so far, and given her positive attitude and the care and support from her adept eye guardians, it is unlikely that any setback could ever pull her down. Humans may have their weaknesses, but that doesn't mean that they are easily broken.